Have you ever felt like a demon is watching you? Ever had a very weird sleep and felt like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed? You feel as if something is on you, a shadow or a shape, something nasty. You're pinned to your bed and can't move a muscle. There are whispers, wicked whispers. You think you're screaming but you make no sound. During the situation, you may become aware in a conscious state for a very brief moment. Although involuntary muscle such as breathing isn't affected, usually there's a surge of chest pressure, thus you wake up gasping for air. The feeling is like being underwater and drowning. You're trying to get out of the water, but you keep getting pushed in. What you're experiencing is literally a waking nightmare. It's a state during which you're awake but unable to move or cry for help, no matter what demons your mind conjures. The state has a name, sleep paralysis. So, what is sleep paralysis really? People misinterpret the reasoning behind the so-called nightmares of sleep paralysis. The mare of the word nightmare originates from the Norse word mare, which links to a supernatural. Typically female, lying on top of people's chests at night suffocating them. Jump forward to early modern era, 1500 to 1800. In many European nations, sleep paralysis was often referred to as witch attacks. It's been reported that the accused witch Susan Martin told her visitor Robert Downer that some she-devil would shortly fetch him away. That night, Downer claimed that as he lay in his bed, there came in at the window the likeliness of a cat, which flew upon him, took fast hold of his throat, lay on him for a considerable while, and almost killed him. This sleep paralysis was misinterpreted and is found as evidence in the Salem Witch Trials of 1962, in which people were accused of being witches and then hung. However, sleep paralysis is something else. During the recuperation stage, which is when your body relaxes and your consciousness is temporarily suspended, the mind goes through a few stages before it actually starts to create dreams. Non-rapid eye movement, commonly abbreviated as NREM, is the first stage in which your body is inactive as you start to become less aware of your surroundings and your eyes start to slowly close. As soon as NREM ends, it shifts into rapid eye movement, known as REM, the stage of sleep where dreaming occurs. If we weren't paralyzed, we would act out our dreams, endangering ourselves and our sleeping partners. But sometimes, especially when sleep patterns are disrupted or get exhausted, things go awry. REM extends into waking consciousness. Our bodies become immobile, and our alert brains fuse with the imagery of dreams. The phenomenon of waking up during REM, completely unable to move, is called sleep paralysis. There is no known explanation why some people experience this paralysis. It is not harmful. Sleep paralysis usually occurs A, while you are falling asleep. As the body relaxes, if you are aware of the state then you will notice your inability to speak or move, or B, as you are waking up. So when you become aware before REM finishes, you won't be able to move or speak. There are many examples of sleep paralysis that individuals face. A person describes the experience as, quote, It usually feels like someone is sitting on my chest, choking me, and I see staring faces right above mine, laughing or screaming gibberish. But that's not to say the experience must always be a dreadful one. In fact, contrary to sleep paralysis historical reign of terror over innocent sleepers, there may be an unexplored joyful side to this phenomenon. With that being said, if you ever wake into this paralyzed state, Try to ride the fear out. Sleep paralysis often has a connotation of being scary and bad. However, there are really no demons out there and also no aliens either.